an ASP.NET open redirect on the authentication screen. This is actually a vulnerability due to the ability that the ASP.NET wants to make it easy that when you try to go to a page if you're not authenticated, that it redirects you to the logon page and then once you authenticate, redirects you back to the page you were trying to get to. By default, ASP.NET will only redirect you internally to a relative URL, but if misconfigured, there's actually a chance that you could redirect to any URL. Um, in this current state, this application actually is misconfigured to start with, so we can see the actual redirect, and then we'll show you the configuration that you can use to change this. Uh, so often the first thing we do is when we come across these sites, we get sent to or try to access a page that is behind authentication. So here we can try to access the accounts change password page. But when we go there, you can immediately see that it's redirected us to the login page. And then up here in the URL, there is now this return URL parameter that's been added and it's got the slash account slash change password dot ASPX page. So the idea behind this is once we go ahead and properly authenticate, then it'll redirect us to that change password screen that we wanted to go to. But as a pen tester, the first thing I do when I see something like this is I'll actually modify this value up here and say, okay, instead of return URL going to account change password, what if I change the return URL to HTTP, whack whack, Jardine software, I'll put the www just to be safe, Jardine software, Com. And we need to make sure that we reload the page here so that way this return URL actually gets dropped down into the form. So now when I go down to authenticate, I can put in my credentials and when I log in, we'll see that it goes ahead and authenticates me and then redirects me to that URL. But it redirected me to this malicious URL. So if we actually go back here, uh, and actually this isn't a malicious URL, this is my site. Um, but it could be a malicious URL. If I go back, all I have to do is take this link, send this to a user of the site that I know of. I know somebody uses site XYZ, create this URL, send it in an email. They see that it's the account logon page and they don't really notice the return URL or maybe I've encoded the return URL. Um, so they go to the site, it's the real site. They log in. And when they submit login and they successfully log in, because that's the only time it'll redirect, if it's unsuccessful, it'll just bring us back to this login page. They successfully log in, it redirects them now to my site that I control, which could deliver malicious software, or better yet, maybe the site looks exactly like this login screen that we see, but pops up an error message that says invalid username or password. And the user thinks, oh, I must have just mistyped my username or password. I'll type it again, not realizing that the URL has changed and they're no longer on their site that they expected to be on. They're on that malicious site. They re-enter the credentials. They submit it up to the malicious site unknowingly. That site collects the credentials, redirects the user back over to the initial site that they were going to. And although maybe it sends them back to the default page, it doesn't really matter. The user's really not gonna think much about it, but now the attacker actually has captured your credentials, um, and now they can log in as you on the site. So very easy attack to pull off, but very easy to protect against as well. As I mentioned before, .NET actually protects against this by default, um, and you actually have to turn this off. Um, as I mentioned, by default, it's not enabled. Um, you have to make this feature enabled, so um, the key that we're looking for here is in the authentication in the web.config file, this enable cross app redirects equal true. This right here by default is false, but when we set it to true, it tells the authentication system that it's okay to redirect to somebody outside of our current relative site. There are very few reasons why you want to set this to true. Um, you can try to do it for like a single sign on, but it's kind of a I haven't seen many people actually try to do that, uh, where I can log in on one ASP.NET app and it redirects me to a different domain, um, but still uses all the same machine key information. So we can kind of basically build our own single sign-on system. Uh, but here, 
we don't even have to have it in here, but we're going to purposely set it to false so we can see it. So that now when we run it, and we'll go up and we'll kill this. So that way we can do it again. Now that we've saved this, when we go run it, we try to go back to that Jardine software URL. Right now it's going to allow it to load here because this isn't where it's actually changing or, or sending us to that link. So this is okay. But when we log in, and we'll put our credentials in, we log in, and now we see that it's actually redirected us back to the default page because that URL isn't within our application. So .NET picks that up, says, nope, you're not a valid URL, so I'm just going to redirect you to the default page that's defined in our web config. Uh, and for us, that's actually the default.aspx page. Uh, so something that's very simple to fix, something very simple to search for. There are other areas within applications that we can find open redirects, but this is one that I always check when I come into an application because even though I assume from years of .NET development that there's no reason somebody would turn this off, ironically, people turn it off all the time um, and we can actually find this. So from a pen tester's perspective, from QA perspective, when you're testing your applications, make sure that you're checking for this uh, so that way you can alert the developers that, hey, you know, I can use this as, as somewhat of a reflective cross-site scripting where I can send somebody to any malicious site that I want to and they may not realize it at all. Um, and then, of course, being able to let the user know or the developers know how we can go ahead and fix this. If you see this on a site and it's vulnerable, then you can just go in and tell them, look, in the web config, it's real easy set enable cross app redirects to false for some reason you have it set to true because uh, that's the only way that, that i'm aware of that allow this to redirect that way unless you're trying to handle it by yourself um, in our example here we're actually allowing the forms authentication system to handle it on its own uh, so we can see here all we're doing and i don't even check the credentials for this demo purpose uh, but we're just calling the forms authentication dot redirect from login page and that takes that return URL automatically black box style and allows it to determine whether we can redirect to it or not if they're not using this and they've written their own redirect routine then obviously enable cross app redirects isn't going to affect it uh, but a lot of developers use this built-in redirect from login page because it is very easy um, so if they are using this, should, this should be one of the recommendations that they make sure that that's not enabled in their web config file. So very simple test for testers to go in and look for this, often overlooked, but uh, can be very devastating if not found within the applications and corrected. So that was the quick short demo for this. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will come out with some more shortly in the future.